Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. It is a new hope, and we've got I mean, our, our base is just chooching along here. Hey, we completed our monument, hooray. We got ourselves a tech print for circadian influence. We're going to grab anyone at all. Pug. Oh, oh, reserved by Petra. Well, I mean, it's actually slightly annoying. Where's Petra? Let me reset you. Well, can you just... You no, know, you can haul it. Pug. Apply the tech print. There you go. I don't care who does it again as discussed. Like, uh, oh, I don't think you can because someone was using it. Tell you what, you gonna apply that because the tech print, the bench was full. Random drawmeter has just joined us. That's perfect. That's exactly what we're trying to raise. Okay, tech print is done. That'll open up some more research. So this construction is finished. Let me just double check that I haven't left. Uh, I can bring my craft down to a back to a normal here. Which is fine yet. We don't have anything crazy going on mining, which is okay. I would like to get this ritual room up, so we're gonna go and unforbid this as we get the material. So we got our power cell. We've got that finished. What happens if we don't leave this one alive? Just minus 10. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I won't really care either way. I think I probably forgot to... Yeah, there's a roof on this, which we're gonna remove immediately, because otherwise what's gonna happen when we tear this down later on, I'm gonna forget there's a roof, and we're gonna get some roof collapse events, and... That's going to be very upsetting. So I'd rather that didn't happen. We have a ridiculous amount of silver. Our stockpile here is also fairly full. I mean, I could build some more um, shelves, but I'd rather, I'd rather we trade. Do we set up a trade caravan? What are we looking for? Well, being able to buy a bunch of raw steel, not to mention, of course, components as always would be nice. It broke. The hell were you? When did that show up? I don't know. Didn't know. Okay. I mean, we still have stealing components on the map. But yeah, a trade caravan would be lovely. So we're here. We've got a trading partner nearby. Oh, they haven't restocked. So if we look at the raw items, well, we know what this is what they will buy. I guess it doesn't show what they sell. And presumably we may have bought them out last time. I don't know. Maybe they still have tons of stuff. But I guess we're going to wait 12 days and then we'll send out a trade caravan. All right. That's fine. Um, oh, we have enough power. We can go and turn that turn that on because this is hooked up now. And hooked up to the grid. Yeah. Monolith study progress. Hey. The structure connects normal space to the void. Dimension hidden in the substructure of space time. Such so some powerful mind in the void is leaking influence into our reality. Smogger wants to study the monolith further to learn more. The monolith now provides more knowledge when studied. Great stuff. Is it uh, still basic? It is still basic. Okay. Need more um, entities. So one of the things I'm thinking is we're going to do a avoid provocation so that we can find more entities, you know, one way or the other. Do we have any auto butchering, any auto slaughtering going on for the dromedaries? We do. Okay. Ooh, looks like there is going to be one female slaughtered there. Combat supplier ship. Well, hello. Combat supplier is maybe not the one we're most excited about. Uh, they do sell components, though. Okay. Not many, but some. No advanced components. Um, how do I feel about the medicine? I think we're okay. You know what? I might just buy a bunch, though. Gene pack gray plus one. Nope. We're going to sell this club. Spear, spear. An excellent uranium mace. Actually, we're going to keep that around. Uh, we've got a prisoner who's good at melee that we're going to probably give that to. Molotov, EMPs. I'm going to sell one of the... Well, maybe I sell... Hmm. Now, let's keep this around so they're ready for the recruit. Let's sell off some of the crappier helmets, though. I think I'm fine with this. Okay. And yeah, if we look at the hospital, we did have medicine. We didn't have a ton of medicine, actually. So you know what? I'm fairly happy about this. If we did put a little um, trade beacon in here, we'd be able to see the amount of medicine when we're trading with ships. Of course, with land things, it's not a problem. Same thing over here. We could put a beacon over here so that we could trade uh, stuff out of our freezer to passing ships. But I don't think that's enough of a big deal. This is filling up pretty well, though. We could consider trading away some of the food as well. Oh, I need to go and rebuild this. Although, again, that's going to hit us in the steel, but... In theory, steel mining is a thing that's going on. How are these trees? Harvest fully grown? Cool. Okay. Which should give us bioferrite because we're on the new patch, right? That's really exciting. 
We didn't need the fleshy meat stuff. The biopharite's pretty exciting. Okay, yeah, more digging for steel here. Um, I mean, the other thing we can do is plop down our long range mineral scanner, our ground penetrating scanners, and start doing some research on that. We might want more people freed up for research. We got the four, two of them theoretically here, some dark study going on at the same time. Yeah, we could probably set up the others. The dark study comes first, but it's got a cooldown, which is perfect. If we put down like both the both the scanners, then after everyone finishes all the dark study, then two will go here, two will go to the scanners. I mean, assuming they don't have anything else going on, which some of them do, but that's fine. Random donkeys just joined us. All right, Randy. Yeah, keep that set to zero, that's fine. We don't need to start building up donkeys. And yeah, the hidden kibble is good because that is actually how we're feeding most of our critters over here. Go research. Hatter apparel is just our visitors, which we don't really have any control over. I like this hallway. I think it looks cool. Birth is fine. A little bit of work over there. Not really high priority work, but it'll look nicer to have this courtyard paved up. Allison, there you go. Dropping off more hay. And that's a pretty consistent job here, but I think it's fine. I mean, I guess I could just store a crap ton more hay. It would free up more place in our freezer. And the hay goes bad eventually, but it does take a while. Well, it doesn't rot right away, but it will um, deteriorate. Although I guess I can just put a shelf for the hay. Maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna copy these settings and paste the settings onto that. Which is a critical hay priority. Yeah, all right. Apparel, one idler, that's Jaden. That's going to happen from time to time. It's not a big deal. Uh, Cam, yeah, your, your resistance is still being reduced. And then Jaden, speaking of you, okay, you're going to get your cooldown up soon. How's the chat going here? Uh, not too bad. That's good. That's on roof now, which I like. I could build maybe a couple more of these steel mortars just to rain down fire faster. I don't know how much of a big deal that is. Collecting some stuff here is fine. Gold mining site. That's kind of interesting. We're going to need more gold for more things, I think, as we go forward here. Don't know. Oh, we've got some gold here. We don't need to go raid that site. Oh, you know what I think I said? After we finish this and after everyone is healthy, we're going to go do the danger zone. And then, of course, I was forgetting again because it wasn't in my view. Um, Allison, you just move here. Wake up everyone else. Come over here. I know it's, uh, there's a door. I guess I could just pop in the door. If I go claim, hold open. I guess we don't always have a door visible for this stuff. Jaden and Min go stand there. Min's going to be here at some point. Right, yeah, pull back a little more this way. Something kind of like this. Okay, we got the hold open. Good. Min, I'm going to get you to pop the door and then back up. Oh. <laughs> I don't think this is a danger zone after all. Oh, all that waiting. Yeah, no, it's this is not. All right. Well, that was exciting. So much drama for so long. All right, let's clear that out. And we can move the floor for the blocks as well. Okay. And I guess I can rem remove this little D message. It's gonna be fine. Okay, Jaden's abilities are back up. So, convert, boom. A lot of certainty, and of course, being in a decent room, the certainty is gonna increase. You actually might have some modifiers to reduce it. Yeah, psychopath, and the apostasy is dropping. Okay, yeah, you're, you're gonna be tough to convert. We'll get you there. You have to remember to use the powers. But that's going to be okay. Because we could put you in a, mi a miserable room so you get a break. Even if you switch to um, a, a different ideology that's still not mine is fine. Because it would get rid of the apostasy debuff. But 
Okay, marine armor happened fast. We're ready to do cataphract whenever now. I want to get maybe, oh, not the brain wiring, sorry. The neural computation. Oh, bionic replacements we don't have yet. Unacceptable. Let's get that ready to go. And yeah, we're going to start doing a lot more, a lot more tweaking of our people, I think. All right, so we have some steel now, which is great. The flooring is done here. Um, we have some excess power here. It helps, I think the wind's blowing right now. Um, we would like more neural supercharges, but I may not build them right away. Uh, do we start building our marine armor? Now, did I ever put down a fabrication bench? I think the answer to that is no. Indeed, I never did. So. What do we look here? Biofirite shaping. Uh, so we had void provocation. I mean, we might start doing some skip abduction, although not right away. But let's get this room going. We're going to, I'm just going to put down some concrete tiles in here. Again, not nice, but that's going to be fine for now. Let's bring you out over here. Line that little section out, that's going to be fine. And yeah, this tree stump over here has to get removed. So now I think it will let me, I guess we should check before we finish. Yeah, it'll let me put this down. Good, okay. A boom rat self-tamed. Well, you I don't actually want. Just had to make sure. We had to make sure that it died instantly and far away from everything. It was really important. All right, ritual room is ready. So if we do this, yeah, just the chanter. That's it. There's no modifiers we can do at this time. We don't have. Uh, we don't have the ability to do the. Well, do we have the ability to do the sculptures here? No, not yet. Okay. I wonder what tech it is. Was it shaping? I mean, clearly not, because we just finished that. Is there something over here? Flares, Max Harvester, Sleep, Bliss. Oh, Void Sculptures. This is the art one. Yeah, let's do that first. Not that we have a ton of Biofire, right? Although we did buy some. And we've been extracting some from this guy for a little while, though. It's awfully slow. 1.6. I mean, it's not. No, it's pretty slow. Because we can. I know. I know at the very least the creature that'll give us over three per day. So double this. Bionic replacement. Man, this tech is going so fast. I think we don't need hydroponics. Yeah, let's get neural computation. Do I do the void provocation now? How bad could it be? It could be pretty bad. I kind of might want some few better weapons. Let's build... Oh, I don't know, like... At least one, no, I don't know, like three assault rifles? I think that's probably a good plan. Oh, this is done. Okay, so first of all, uh, so you're going to be making sure we keep components and advanced components around. Um, unless we're building spaceships, I don't think we need that many advanced components. I might target something like six. I might look to make sure we always have 20 of these so that we can quickly respond to something should something develop. But then, marine helmet, marine armor. Well, the marine helmet's kind of the priority here because we want to upgrade everyone from a simple helmet to a marine helmet. We're skipping over flak helmets entirely. Make sure there's at least one around with a 60% hit point. And we care about quality here. I, I won't I won't specify a worker, but I'm sort of specifying a worker. I'm going to put in a minimum skill level. And the same thing for the marine armor. So we don't want someone crap doing it. This is just set to a 1x job, which I think is fine. And it's going to be at the bottom, and that's okay. But this will pop out some marine helmets semi-regularly. 
Some slate, okay. Oh, wait, right in the middle of my freaking farm? Randy. I mean, that's just rude. I do this, do you keep... No, you went to potato plant. That's just rude. Randall. The heck are you doing, man? The priorities from the marine armor are probably going to be the mailers because they're the most likely to get hit by things. So what I might want to do is actually plan for three marina suits because we have two mailers currently, Jaden and Minyoka, and then once Cam gets recruited, they'll be joining the party as well. No convert action, that's fine. We're still doing resistance break, which is okay. Once that switches, we'll switch you over to convert. So we'll also be doing convert social interactions. We're going to train up our social skills fairly well doing this. Because it is going to take you a while to convert. So yeah, we'll go and get a few more weapons. We're going to fix whatever the heck this is. Man. Okay. What I'm going to do is remove that growing zone now. Expand this zone down to here, and then this one here. I'm going to expand to fill that in as well. All right. Well, that was annoying. Not actually a problem. Still sitting on tons of food. Most of our people are in Devil Strand. Uh, neural computation. Thank you. Um, whatever. Absolutely whatever. Okay, I do think we might go and set ourselves up. Long range and ground penetrating scanner. Mm. We'll block the door. I was hoping to fit them in here without that being an issue. Just use this space and not roof this up. You know what? Maybe I'll just do that. It'll look nice. I'll put a little gap in between. We'll do this. Um, what we want to do, so we have to make sure that there's no roof on top of the scanners. But I could go and build a roof that extends over the spots where we sit. I don't think it'll reach out there. You could put a pillar or a partial wall. Why don't we build a room, but we don't, we just don't roof it. So, I mean, it'll still count as outdoors. Because this part's going to be exposed. Yeah, that's okay. Build a roof in those spots, that's fine. And then flooring, concrete. Through there, and then over there. And then, yeah, we'll probably want to put down some comfy chairs there. Those are pretty long-term jobs. Build some more comfy chairs inside the base too. You know what? Let's let's go for it. I don't know that people spend a lot of time there, but yeah, probably not there actually, especially with our boom lope. But we'll set up the others. Get some more comfort buffs. That's going to be nice. We'll get a light over here. And okay, mood's almost done. Jaden, you have a convert? Not yet. Nope. We'll research the foam turret. I can't believe how fast we're researching things. We're maniacs here. Inspired recruitment. Resistance. Hmm. Well, that's kind of annoying because I actually don't want to recruit you. The resistance is nearly gone anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I don't think it helps with the conversion, so. I mean, I guess just in case, I could be like, here, switch to convert. But I don't think it's going to make a difference. Maybe I'll put the beds here, actually. Then you'll still benefit from the nice... Oh, no, there's a little work spot there. Um... Oh. Can't move you. I mean, this is just temporary. It's dumb, but it's just temporary. Oh. I faced you the wrong way. Yeah, I'll just stick you back over there. All right. 
So guns are being made, helmets are being made. So we are gonna chew through a lot of components and a lot of steel. Legendary assault rifle. Oh yeah, baby. Now, you're actually good at melee more than guns. Maybe you should have been a melee -er. I don't know. Uh, lips, we're gonna upgrade you to the legendary assault rifle. Fire? Fire where? Can't click on it. Maybe it went out already. Surprising number of idolists, not idlers. Disrespected. Oh, we need columns. Oh, we just went up a wealth level. Okay. We'll put the columns there this time. So more people are going to want more demands for things. We might even get to see some demands for like de-aging or something like that. I don't know. Get rid of that. That's going to be fine. Masterwork marine helmet. Great. So people will auto-equip the helmets. They won't auto-equip the weapons because we are not currently... Uh, we're not running the my mod that I like to use where people equip themselves. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Flat screen TV, could we could potentially build one in the hospital. We could build more beds in the hospital, um, which I might want with the amount of people we've got, but I don't think I want to spend the material on that right now. I think I really want to get the helmets and new guns made. If we've got the steel. Um, that's gold ore. That is components over here. Oh, that's compacted steel. Well, so we'll flag to be mine. Masterwork cloth armchair. Might flag quite a lot on the map to be mined here. More gold, yeah. And then compact the machine right on here. More steel, but I'm not going to flag you yet. And that's uranium. And more steel over there. Okay, so we're not aware of any more components currently on the map. Although we do have the ability to fabricate our own now, which is good. And yeah, probably we won't get around to making the marine armor because what's going to happen is they're going to work on the helmet and then they won't have enough components for the next helmet, right? It needs an advanced component. So then it's going to go to this, these jobs, make components, make advanced components. And then at some point, it'll be able to do this again. Actually, we might be limited by plasteel, which is entirely possible as well because we do apparently have a lot of advanced components just from previous trades. Speaking of trade, over here in the world, how you looking? 7.8 days. Oh, wow. Time is not flying. And we're pretty busy. I think there's a lot of interruptions. We've got that. We could plan an expedition, though. Maybe we do go and hit one of those steel mining sites. Let's do it. This one's very close. 27 days. Oh, that's gold. Steel here. This one's 18 days. 13 people is a lot. But I think this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to send a caravan over here. So, let's assume... Okay, we might send everyone, except we're not going to the, send the kiddos. We're not going to sell Kuja. Um... We need someone who can act as a warden. I think it's Cat. I think it's Hope. I think Hope is going to stay behind because she needs to warden both for the prisoner, but also for the monoliths and stuff. Actually, I guess we don't have an obelisk which needs to be subdued. I don't think the monolith needs that. Still, we'll leave you behind. Um, actually, I don't want to leave Jaden behind. Maybe I'll leave both those because Jaden, we're going to want to use his convert powers pretty aggressively. All right, we're going to grab a whole bunch of these guys. So 1.5 days travel time. Because We need to bring a bunch because we need to bring a bunch of steel on our way back too. So yeah, we're going to bring a lot. I don't know. This is probably... Mm, they have a thousand units of steel. I actually don't know how much steel weighs. Is it one per one? No. I think it's about half. So presumably it's about 500 kilos, 600 kilos, something like that at the site. So this will give us enough room and a little bit to spare, but not that much. So I think we're okay here. Yeah, you're bringing a few things, herbal medicine. I'm actually going to encourage you to bring a little bit of regular medicine as well. Just in case something happens, we might want to change some of our food policies. 2.6 days of food. So not a lot to spare, but it will work. You know what? I'll bring these packaged survival meals. Be sure. Oh, love bond. Lido. 
Okay, Lido, we are leaving you home. I forgot that we had that. Okay, yeah. You won't be hungry that quickly. You're going to be fine. Everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Oh, quest expires. Yeah, I wasn't going to... No, I'm not going to do that one. I don't know why I bothered trashing it. It was going to expire in a second. Could have saved myself a click, but this is fine. Lita's going to stick around here, too. That's fine. Okay, leaving the map. Excellent. Let's go. You got some people to beat up. We actually... Hold on. We actually have tons of steel right now, as it turns out. I didn't realize this number had gotten so high. Still, you know what? It's fine. It's time-consuming to turn everything into components, but at least we know we're going to have lots of material for it. We need a miner. We don't have one on the map. That's fine. We still have a colonist idle. That's fine, too. Lido's currently idle. No, nothing to clean. Nothing to craft. Oh. Huh. that this is a higher priority. That stuff doesn't get stored inside if it doesn't have to. I think I do. I'm going to set this to important because these are preferred. So the steel should get brought outside over here. Possibly the wood too. I don't remember if I have the wood assigned here. Stone blocks. And yeah, not the wood, but that's fine. And then over here, these blocks, this is set to important. I'm actually going to set this to critical, so let's crack the blocks regardless. Well, actually, no. If I set it to important, it's the same value over there. People will prefer to bring it here because it's cheaper, but we don't have to haul it back indoors after if anything does get stored out. Okay, no, this is fine. Meanwhile, you guys are nearly there. Flat screen TV research done. I mean, we'll get ourselves ready for the pulse charge munitions, maybe even these gun links. Yeah, we're going to have to look at doing more um, more bionics. I'd also like to get started maybe on a genetics lab. I might put it in a separate building. That could have been the other thing we do with this space, but this is going to be fine. Again, part of it unroofed because it'll have to be. And yeah, currently we have a component shortage. I'm wondering if I should move this down. Yeah, let's do it. Because a lot of other construction might be reliant on these components. You know, slow down the marine helmets, but keep a steady supply of components in, which might prove to be very important. Especially, we need a certain surplus of components around so that we can repair things that break down. Is that get drone? It's annoying. Fire. Okay, no, that's fine. That is more than a little annoying. Okay. Let's go and steal from some poor people. Interesting layout. I actually would like to engage up here. So we've got the benefit of cover. Yeah, they're gonna get absolutely obliterated. Biggest problem is if we accidentally shoot that emu. It might get kind of pissy. One's gonna get wiped out. So we could capture Panther, which is interesting to consider. But let me um, unrecruit everyone, except Min, because I still want control over you. Uh, we're going to claim everything, like these doors here. Send you over there. Stomp. How's Panther here? 10 six hours. Night Owl, good mining. Okay, hang on, we got Smacks here? And without medicine. Let's get them patched up real quick. Oh, Kroika, I didn't see you. Body modder. I prefer if he had shooting skill rather than having more melee. You got the research. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on. Hmm. Is it stuff we actually need? I'm actually going to say that the answer to that is no. Now, did I really want Panther? After saying that? I think I like the super high mining. I actually think that's got some value. Especially once we get the drills, the miners will always be busy. I'm just going to expose the everything on the map here. Just to make sure. All right. Um, there you go. And you got all the material. All right. So if we go back over here, if we reform our caravan to go home. Not there. Here. 
Accept. Well, you know what? We'll bring them both. Steel. Chunk, 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 chunk. Dead bodies. I guess we'll bring these weapons. They're not going to sell for much. Biggest value might just be smelling it down. The tainted clothes, no marble beds. We could deconstruct them, but eh. And we'll take this pemmican and synth thread bed rolls. All right. Okay, let's do it. An unwavering prisoner, that's the other thing, actually. But we'll deal with that after we get them home. And maybe they'll just donate some organs, assuming they make it here live, which might not be the case. Now, one thing we can do is we could go after this. I think creating components is a smithing job, and there's no quality on there. So we could enable smithing on more people. All of our jobs where we care about the quality, we do have it limited to a skill of 10 or higher. So we don't actually have to worry about people like making a craptastic marine helmet, for example. But we might want more people on smithing duties to handle some of these various things. Things like shred mechanoids, for example. Even prosthetic legs doesn't have a quality. So we never actually set any restrictions to that. Assault rifle. Actually, we never set a restriction for the assault rifle. Let's set that to a minimum of 10. We're going to cancel the simple helmet job. And there we go. We got a 10 here. We got a 10 here. I didn't realize we never set it for the assault rifle. That is not ideal. Yeah, I'm actually... Ooh, that's actually very disappointing. Hopefully we haven't wasted... Mostly, it's mostly we've got our one um, person on smithing. So I don't think we wasted material making a lower quality good. Probably fine there. Okay, yeah. Didn't realize we had so much steel before I sent people out. But yeah, I think we will chew through a lot of it. Especially if we do get more people on smithing. I'm going to wait until people are home before I do any changes. An infection. Troika. That's one of our prisoners, right? Um, Jaden. Convert action, please. 21%. Good, that's getting well. And I'm assuming your, um, your resistance has been broken. Actually, not yet. Oh, yeah, we did switch it over convert, which, you know what, is fine. It's basically broken. If we put you on a recruit, I think you'll actually be able to, like, get broken and recruit at the same time. Maybe not. Maybe it always just brings it to zero and then has to be recruited next time. But it's basically there. Liz isn't particularly happy. I'm sorry, Liz. Growth moment for Petra. Nice. Okay. What are we looking for? I mean, it's hard to argue with more people with medical, right? Do we need more constructors? Do we just want another researcher? I don't think we need artistic or animal. I mean, there's room for social. Here's the thing. So neurotic is kind of a pro and con thing, right? More likely to break, but you do work faster, which is nice. We could make Petra pretty and then have her do social stuff. And then if you're not doing social stuff, you can just grind out research, right? Like, I don't mind that. And then, yeah, maybe medical. You can just be one of these sort of smarty pants kind of yeah. Kind is also pretty good. But yeah, I think we'll go with pretty here. Because I think the beauty point does have a pretty big benefit on some of these actions. So firefighting is now an option for you. We'll enable child care as well, even though you're still, you know, arguably a child. You can start crafting blocks now, so we'll enable that. I think the rest of it will stay where it is. You're a waste pack drop. Uh, that's a lot of waste packs. I do not want to deal with that. Even though you do have some very tempting books here. Holy cow. And a ton of Lucy. No, that's that's ridiculous. Nearly 400 waste packs? Come on. Come on now. All right. I think this is a good place to put in a cut. We made some more progress. We're really hoping for this to go to the next thing. I want to do the void provocation. That's probably what happens. Now that everyone is back, I think we, we do the void provocation. Um, we want to be able to get some more research. We want to be able to get more bioferrite, and it'll fill in the codex, which will advance us to the next plot level, which I think is exactly what we're looking for. It's going to get spicy. We'll see how it shakes out. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait, did I finish the statue tech? No, we're still working on void sculptures. Okay. I was going to say, oh, maybe I could queue up some more things. All right, I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.